Hi, my name is Matt Haynes. We are going to go over a few things for the Phoenix Rising Recreational Soccer League for the fall of 2020. First off, thank you for volunteering. We very much appreciate the fact that you commit your time to our league. Without volunteer coaches, we would not have a league. So once again, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Practice schedules. You probably should have seen by now a sign up that has gone out from Neil or myself that talks about fields that you can reserve to have your practice. You are not required to utilize any of those fields, but they are available. Any space that is safe, green, is okay for practice as far as we are concerned. Somebody's backyard, uh, a green space in your neighborhood, anything is acceptable, again, as long as it is safe and available. We do provide a number of practice fields for you to use if you so choose. Game schedules will hopefully be out as soon as possible. We are working on that. We know that parents want to get those schedules as soon as possible so that they can plan around them. And we hope to have those out by the end of this week. If there is inclement weather, if it ever rains again in Scottsdale, which seems unlikely at this point, uh, sometimes we do get rained out and the way we determine if the fields are usable and available is by calling this phone number right here. That phone number will be, the message on that number will be updated by about two o'clock in the afternoon every day. So if it's raining or it's going to rain and you're not sure if the fields are open or available, all you have to do is call that number and they will let you know. Background checks should be coming out soon. As soon as you see that, please fill out the information and submit it at your earliest convenience. Concussion course information has gone out already. You should have seen that come across in an email from myself or Neil. If you have volunteered to coach for us in a previous season and completed the course, you do not need to do it again. If this is your first season coaching, please complete the course and send me the certificate via email when it is done. Game day set up and takedown. All of the games for first and second grade will be at Cochise Elementary School. Simon will be the on-site coordinator at Cochise. He will have the field set up for the most part. The only thing you may have to do is put the nets on the goals and potentially put the corner flags in the corners. If you have the last game of the day, uh, we do ask that you push the goals over to the fence uh, to help us take down, also take the nets off of the goals. Um, if you're not sure if you have the last game or not, typically Simon or the referee will let you know that that is the case. Again, we appreciate your help with setup and takedown. Uh, if you have any questions on game day, there will be a Phoenix Rising tent set up next to the gray container. That's where Simon will be stationed along with some other staff. Any questions, anything that comes up, feel free to walk over to the tent and ask someone whatever you need help with. Um, we will have referees for first and second grade games. Uh, we do ask that you please respect the referees. Like many of the players in our league, a lot of our referees are beginners and they are doing the best that they can. And we ask that you please respect their authority over the game. Uh, they may need your help from time to time, but for the most part, believe it or not, they have it under control. Um, if you have any major concerns about a referee, uh, please feel free to email those to me as soon as you get a chance. Team uniforms will be distributed. We will have those here at the club office. We will let you know as soon as they are available so that you can come and pick them up. We are hoping that we can time it up so that you can come pick up your uniforms and your coaching equipment at the same time. Again, we're hoping that will be this week, maybe next weekend. 
Um, and obviously we will communicate as soon as all that is available. Uh, included with the equipment and the team uniforms, there will be coaches shirts. You are not required to wear those at games, but you are certainly welcome to. Um, one other note as far as team uniforms are concerned, every single season we have a few players that need to exchange some or all of their uniform. We will have extra uniforms available at the tent on the day of games. Anyone can come and exchange any part of their uniform completely free of charge. Um, so when those questions come up, feel free to direct them to the rep tent on the day of the game. Uh, coaches equipment will include cones, practice pennies, and a soccer ball. We will also provide two pug goals for the price of $50, which is an outstanding rate. You are not required to purchase pug goals for practice, but I can tell you that they certainly help. Communicate to parents uh, about the fact that you are the coach for their child's team as soon as possible. If you have received a roster from me already, which all of you should have, I believe I noted to reach out and if nothing else, just to communicate that you're the coach. Uh, inevitably, as happens every single season, there will be a lot of movement with rosters between now and the beginning of the season and perhaps even after the first game. We appreciate your patience. If parents express to you that they are on the wrong team or we're supposed to be on another team or can't make the practice because of the location or the day, send them to me, tell them to send me an email and I do my very best to accommodate all of those requests and try to put people on teams that make sense for them. Uh, one other thing about rosters, if you have only five or six players on your roster at this time, it is highly probable that I will be adding more players to your roster. We continue to have people sign up for our league every single day. Um, if there are any players on your team that decide they are not going to be able to play for whatever reason, we will offer them a refund. All you have to do is, all they have to do is email me and I will get a refund process for them. Uh, in summation, we hope that we have another great season. Obviously, this season will have some unique challenges, already has had some unique challenges, and we appreciate your patience around all of that. Um, above all else, this league is instructional. It is supposed to be fun, and while everyone likes to compete on game day, uh, it's more about teaching the game, and we absolutely want to make sure that we respect the referees, the other team, the other coach, and each other. Um, there will be some extra stresses in place, given all the restrictions around coronavirus, which we will go into more detail about before the season. And again, we appreciate your patience and understanding around all of that. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, the best way to reach me is via email, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you very much for volunteering.